Grateful for sun. Grateful for sun. Oh yeah, I get that vitamin D. Uh, vitamin D from the sun. <laughs> We just landed here in Madrid, Spain. That's a very pretty airport. Very pretty airport, very pretty. Got here a little late, so we're gonna take the train to our hotel and we're eating something special for dinner tonight. And just wait. Just guys. wait for it, just wait. So now we have to figure out how to get our bags. It shouldn't be too hard. We know that they made it on the plane. Yes, so. they're on the plane. And I can finally understand everyone. So can I. I speak Spanish. It's awesome. I understand it yes, somewhat. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, we made it to our, our uh, hotel. A little struggle to get in there. Um, took a couple wrong trains. Hotel was kind of weird to get in because it's like non-reception hours, so we had to do it ourselves. We got in, thankfully. Um, Ash was getting a little mad at me. Uh, but, she didn't, but she doesn't help me. Um, we'll leave it at that. But now we are at. We don't. All right, so here's the surprise. We came to a hot pot place, so yeah, we have to. So. It is currently what almost midnight. They don't have a Jackie here. Jackies are uh, our yeah, hardball, yeah, our server, <laughs> the only place in Seattle, but uh, looks pretty good. Um, so we are in Madrid. <laughs> so we are gonna go tour around a little bit today. But first, last night we saw a Tim Hortons, which is like a Canadian, mm -hmm. like their version of Starbucks, basically. Yeah. It's like a vlogger we watch. Lost Blanc, he goes there and he raves about it. I don't know if it's that great, but we're gonna try it out. It's here in Madrid, so why not? Yeah. Also, we're going to Santiago Bernabeu. It's like a big, big soccer stadium, big soccer team, Real Madrid, if you know, don't know. I don't like them personally, but they're like one of the best teams in the world. So we're gonna go see their stadium. Yeah, and we're gonna do a couple <laughs> more things and probably gonna eat a lot, so. Yeah, uh, like Madrid thing. is like a big foodie place. So we are gonna be on a food tour this whole time. So we'll take you along. Okay, so we went to Tim Hortons. We were gonna get food. Flies. There's a lot of flies yes. in the cage with the donuts, touching all the donuts. Like one fly, whatever. Now there's probably at least like 15. <laughs> yeah. Coffee's great. Coffee's great. I got a coffee con leche. It's basically coffee and milk. And then you got the vanilla latte. French vanilla latte. So, pretty good. Yep. Pretty good. Now all we're right. gonna go find some good food. Yeah. Do you have to put zero? Yes. Alright, so we got some empanadas, we got uh, carne ones, so like meat, we got cheese and bacon one in here. So, we're gonna dig in, and yeah. I want my cheese and bacon one first. Now she's all excited, she got a haircut, please. Yeah, okay, yeah, it was good, because I've been needing a haircut, because I've been putting so much heat. Hello? <laughs> There's someone behind you. <laughs> I've been putting so much heat on my hair, where, sorry, Anta, but I need a haircut. So, it actually works out, because we're no Spanish, so he was able to, like, set me up an appointment, and they're so nice. Yeah. Also, I just took a bite of this. It's so good. <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. So we just got it. had our empanadas. Delicious. Delicious. Bury me yes. in empanadas. Yes. Awesome. Now we're heading to the train station. Oh, they oh. also thought I spoke Spanish. Yeah, I mean, I actually speak Spanish because she has to work on it, but she's pretty good. But yeah, so I ordered in Spanish, and she kept going, and I was like, tap in. It's like, tap you kind of. Short step. Take that. Put it as when Romero annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so basically we're done with the park. Uh, I think we'll just probably go to their half you didn't see. Mm -hmm, it's just, huge yeah. though. Yeah, I think we'll come back maybe later since we have a lot of days here. But right now we're gonna get a sangria, a whole jug of no, it, hopefully. Yeah, it's like not just a glass. A whole jug. Get the jug. Yeah, that's what you do out here. Okay, 
that we're almost at the end of the Sangria, yeah. and we are feeling it. Yeah. Say it's so great. So we'll see. We'll see what I actually do. We but got this. <laughs> best Sangria we've had. It is amazing. Bye, man. All right, so we're now going to the museum. Initially, we got in the line just to get into the museum, but you have to get in line to get a ticket first and then get a museum. First up, they don't say that online, so rude. Yeah, that's just kind of bad. But we got tickets now, and it's free. Again, from six to eight, right? Six to closing, right? Best museum here. Um, so we'll go in. I don't know if we can record or not, but I'll try to. If not, I mean, we'll tell you all about it. <laughs> all right, done with the uh, Prado Museum. Oh my God. God, look at that fluff ball. It's a really cool dog. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, cool guess. Again, uh, again, museums are our big thing, so we usually try to go to those are free. Uh, this one turns out to be free during the time we came, so uh, it's cool. Uh, but now we're going to the uh, Yat Yatai? Yatai market. So it's the Asian market again with all the Asian food, so it's gonna be our so heaven. Excited. It's gonna be our heaven. So we're gonna go scout it out, see what we get. Try some things. And that should be our night basically after that. Um, and tomorrow we plan on doing some more stuff. Mm -hmm. But until then, we'll see you at the market. <laughs> All right, day three here in Madrid. Uh, what we're doing today, we're going to the San Miguel Market. This is actually here. Well, duh. <laughs> So right, we're here in the market now, very, very busy. Uh, so seats probably won't be a thing, probably just tasting around, standing around, but super cool. It's like the best part of bacon, basically. Yeah. All right, so breakfast or brunch was amazing. Yeah, now, we're probably gonna go back tomorrow. Yeah, go back tomorrow, I think. Now we're heading to a churro place here, Ashley found. Mm -hmm. So It's the most popular one here. It's super easy to find because it's just on every single website when you look up what to eat in Madrid. But... It's gone. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> we are out now getting our dinner because again, all we do is eat. All we do is eat. Is we've, done, done, yeah, we've done about everything we can do here in Except in the palace, Except but the we're palace. doing that tomorrow. Except for, yeah, until tomorrow. But yeah, other than that, we've been eating. And now we're going to El Social. It's a super popular restaurant. Hard to get a reservation too. So I got one a couple days ago, but it was like the last one left. So I just did it one night, and then we're gonna try it out. Yeah. So. Oh, that was another very good place I saw too. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So we're getting that for dinner, and then yeah, that'd be basically our night. And then we're trying to get better sleep. Our sleep pattern has not been good. I didn't this go to trip. bed last night until 4 a.m. Yeah, I think so. Our room has like a AC, but it doesn't work very well at night. At night it's good, but in the middle of the night it turns off and it gets super hot. And we're not about it, but uh, yeah, we're trying to go sleep earlier today. It probably won't happen. But yeah. And sorry for complaining, just the room was really hot for whatever reason. But anyways, uh, that night again we went to a social. I got the steak and actually got this pasta, really good food. Really recommend if you can get a reservation. And then next morning, and our last day, we went to the Royal Palace. Really pretty. Uh, kind of reminded me a little bit of a London, if I can say that. Overall, Madrid was awesome. Really good food, big foodie place. So an A and R book for sure. We are so excited to explore the rest of Spain. But before that, we are actually jumping over to Portugal. So stay tuned for that. Peace.